we're going to take a look at the short run total cost function example here. Um, here's another example. Let's compute some values here. What is the dollar value of the firm's total cost? Well, um, what is the dollar value of the firm's total cost? Uh, it is uh, 40 right here. And uh, it is 45 right here. It is 53 right here, the total cost. 63, 85. Uh, 110 and 160. Now, what is the average total cost? The average total cost, uh, this really you can't divide by zero, so you can put a dash right here. The average total cost here is 45. The average total cost here is going to be uh, 26.5. The average total cost is going to be 22. Average total cost here is going to be 21. 0.25. The average total cost here is going to be 22, and the average total cost here is going to be 26.60.25. No, not 25. Um, one, two, four, zero, uh, forty six, it's going to be twenty six, thirty six, four, zero, twenty six point six seven. So you see the average total cost here is decreasing here and then it starts increasing here. Uh, and finally, calculate the marginal cost of making the third unit of output. So let's go ahead and figure out the marginal cost for all these here. Again, you can't make uh, the marginal cost of zero, so it's going to be a dash here. The marginal cost of the first one is going to be 45. The marginal cost of the second one is going to be 53 minus 48, which is going to be 8. The marginal cost of the third one, which is what you're, what you're looking for here, is 13. So this is going to be the answer because that's the marginal cost of the third unit. The marginal cost of the fourth unit is going to be 19. The fifth unit is going to be 25. And the sixth unit is going to be 50. So that is the uh, conclusion of this problem. And thank you again for watching educator.com.